Hello, boys and girls. The Rhine, from its confluence of the Vorder and Hinterrhine down to Lake Constance, is called the Alpine Rhine. In this episode, we take a closer look at the section from Chur, the capital of the canton Grigion, down to Lankwart. This is about 12 kilometers worth of wet enjoyment. The put-in is at the camping in Chur, just above the influx of the Plessur, which comes down from Arosa. The exit is at the Tardis Bridge in Lankwart, where the river of the same name flows into the Rhine. The first two kilometers are not very exciting, as the river is mostly embanked, with some waves whenever the water changes side within the bed due to gravel banks. We usually run sections on the Alpine Rhine in late summer and autumn when everything else has too low of a water level. However, you could also do this all year round. High water levels can be dangerous, however, as it becomes difficult to find eddies to rescue and leave the river. The level we have here is a nice low one at 30 cubic meters per second. Once crossing under the first road bridge toward Haldenstein, it gets gradually more exciting with the first cataract. A short while after, at the game crossing over the highway on the right side, the steepest cataract is located. At these low levels, it is fun to curve around the boulders. At higher levels, this section is quite pushy with big waves. On the left shore, you pass one of the few wind turbines in this region of Switzerland. Due to the orientation of the valley, this is a good location. However, high wind peaks, like it is normal during fern, a warm south wind, pose a problem. After this, there is only an embankment on the right side and natural rock formation on the left for a bit before closing up to Unterfahrts with its cement factory on the left and the waste incineration plant on the right. Here both sides once more are embanked. This continues further below the road bridge until the river makes a prominent left turn. This is also one of the few locations where you get a glimpse of the water from the highway when driving up. What follows is the best part. The embankments recede or disappear completely, leaving a much wider riverbed. The Rhine takes advantage of this and buries its way down through high overgrown gravel banks that are moved around every once in a while when there are really high floods. This gives you a feeling how it was once in a time and how it could become again on other sections if the renaturation plans come through. This area is a favorite local recreation area, not only for water sport fanatics, but everybody who likes nature. When the TARDIS bridge comes into view, one has to pay a bit more attention. The Lankwart flows in from the right, and I will cover this fantastic creek another time. Right below is a gravel quarry, which may pull out gravel from the bed on working days, so beware of bucket and cables. One possibility to exit is right below the confluence. Then you have to walk over the compound of the quarry. You can also brave the cataract that is split in two sections. It often changes after high flows, so you better check it out beforehand. You might be able to disembark between the two right under the bridge or all the way down. The official parking is on the right side and it is quite steep to get up from down there. A bit further down on the other riverside it is easier. You can find additional information down in the description. 
If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit that subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!